Welcome back everyone to Little Rody Wargaming for another game of Sharp Practice. This time it'll be a rear guard action for the British against the advancing French. Today's game will be a modified escort mission where the British will be conducting a rear guard action against the French that will be advancing from this side of the table. The objective of the French is to get their main column off the far end of the table while keeping their force morale above zero. Uh, the British simply need to reduce that force morale to zero, and anything other than the French getting their column off the, uh, the far side will be a victory for the British. Now to go over some of the terrain today, uh, we have an orchard here on the side and a large area of light forest. Uh, so light forest will be heavy going for any formation based infantry. Skirmishers will be able to move through it freely. Uh, orchards have all the normal orchard uh, rules, so six inch visibility, um, broken ground for formations. Um, the light forest will have the four inch visibility or 12 inch once both units are inside and light cover. Uh, in fact, we have no hard cover on the table at all today. So the wheat fields, the um, fences, any of these small bits of scatter out there that you see will be light cover. Um, all of the lichen bushes will be light cover for uh, skirmishers. It will be broken ground for formations. Um, also in the, the far right of the shots, uh, we have a... Um, plowed field that will be broken ground as well. So let's take a look at today's armies. So both sides today had 10, port, uh, 10 points of force support. Uh, the British are sitting at a force morale of 10, and there are uh, four leaders. However, leader four will only be coming onto the table if four flags are played to bring it on. So starting with leader one, uh, was a level two, spent three points to bump it up to a level three. And it, they have with them the doctor, the holy man, and the musician. And they are commanding two groups of light company in line. Then we have two other groups of light company skirmishers, and they are each commanded by a level two leader. And that group of cavalry that's going to be the reinforcements are two groups of light dragoons, led by a level three leader. Uh, also for the rest of the force support, a specialist is in one of the skirmish groups as a marksman, and there is a fixed secondary deployment point. And here we have the French Vanguard force today. Uh, they have a force morale of 11, and as you can see, significantly more leaders. Uh, there's about a 25 point difference between these two forces today. So leader one is a level three with a musician and a holy man. He's assisted by level one leader, leader two. And they have the four groups of French infantry uh, that make up the column that needs to get off the end of the table. Uh, leader three is a level two leader with two groups of French voltageers. Uh, one of those groups was purchased with four support. Uh, level four is a level one leader with another group of voltageers. Leader five is a level two, assisted by leader six, who is a level one, with two groups of uh, French grenadiers. And then leader seven, that is a reinforcement group that will also be coming on with four flags, is a level, I believe level one leader uh, with a group of French hussars. All right, so here we go. Uh, first chapter, phase, whatever we use for sharp practice. Ted's got the cards, and we have a British flag. And, all right, red leader one. So that's the main British group. That's not what I wanted to see. No, they're not coming on. I'm gonna regret this. I will never see that one again. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> You could just skip this whole turn if you want. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, I will bring something on just so that the French don't get that huge deployment bonus. All right, we have the British 
like company skirmishers there in the forest. They have eyes on the French deployment points. And all right, we have French leader four, which is the small group of voltages. All right. Okay, so these voltagers just deployed off of the secondary deployment point, six inches up, uh, 12 inches up, and we have uh, British leader two. Yep. So, no, they don't have a sergeant. That's the other group of um, skirmishers. Oh. All right, so this group of skirmishers, or light infantry rather, deployed um, 15 inches out because they remained out of line of sight. So, next one is. Three, so that's the large group of French voltagers. All right. The two groups of French voltagers uh, deployed amongst the livestock. And we have, all right, red flag. Tiffin. Tiffin. Okay. Well, that's it. We'll shuffle everything up and move on. Right, here we go. All right, there's the, uh, the red one. So we'll bring them on. Okay, the British Light Company is formed up just outside the woods, ready to advance on the French. And we have a red flag. Uh, the blue four, which is the smaller group of voltagers. All right, the voltagers just advanced up uh, onto the hill and amongst uh, the bushes, and we have the Tiffin. All right, so there's one British flag, uh, so we shuffle them around. So the British voltagers there just moved up into uh, four inches of the side of the forest. So here we go again. So that is the sergeant. French sergeant the on the main column. We've got a British flag. French four. These guys. Uh, that's the small group. No, that's bigger, isn't it? Nope. Three is the, the bigger. The okay. Yeah, three is the big group. Four is the small group. All right. Well, I'm gonna. Do a 1d6 shuffle. Okay. Free move. Come over here to that. Up okay, six. six inch free move. And we're just gonna hop forward just a little bit. And yep. because it doesn't matter where he is, we. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna check rings. So I could get like one guy out of them or everybody out of them. So ready with them. Okay. Uh, so they have a little one leader. Yep, they're long range. So yep. sixes. Uh, I don't know if eighteen twelve get first fire. No, we will. Shut the book here. Voltage air skirmishers, that's 1813. Uh, they do get first fire. Okay. So you'll be Slash. hitting on fives. Uh, one. So that's one. Two. Two. Right, two. Okay. They are in skirmishers and light cover, so that heavy. And that is no five nothing. Yep. Nope. Good. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, with that um, that British flag, we're going to fire and reload. Um, so they will be firing at the Voltage Air Skirmishers. Got six shots. They are at long range. They are... Hold on. I should be hitting you on force. Skirmishers at long range. When they're in cover. Long range and cover, yep. Would have... All right, well, I'll take off the uh, the light infantry firing. Yeah. Uh, so also hitting on fives. Ooh, All right. Nice. Uh, so that is two. You are, yeah, skirmishers in cover. Same. And, yep. Right. Inefficient fire. So we will uh, shuffle the cards and move on. And right, here we go. All right, we got a British flag. And yeah, big group of French voltagers. All right, so we're gonna move at least one d six. 
three. Let's see where that takes us. <laughs> Just want to get into that that edge of 24 inches. Pretty much, yeah. Right, so this is technically a formation of skirmishes at this point, so they're all moving together for the time being. Yep. And then we'll check range. No, definitely. Sure enough, so we'll move another D6. One. Mm, don't think that's going to do it either. No, but we'll pop forward. And uh, pretty sure that'll keep us out of range, but that's okay. Don't want to move up, fire, and be unloaded. Or actually, no, you can. I can't even <laughs> fire at this point. Uh, okay, so, so the skirmish, skirmish screen advances. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, keep going. Three flags, keep going. That's three in a row. It's three in a row. So we have a random movement event for the French. So uh, it's 2d6. Eight. Eight. The formation reduces any dice rolled for movement in the next turn by half. Okay. And, and they, they are a formation. Yep. Uh, so they are slowed. Leader two. So that's the other group of British skirmishers. So the British skirmishers just moved uh, with all three dice. Move around to the side. Okay, and that is the main leader. Um, I'm gonna have to check a few things here. Okay, so with the red one, um, that unit just presented. Okay, we have two French flags. Three British flags. Okay, and that's four British flags. We're bringing on the cavalry. Okay. So the two groups of French, not French, uh, British light dragoons have come in 12 inches at the canter over on the road. Okay, and three. That's those um, skirmishers over there. So these skirmishers are going to fire into the French voltigeurs. So it's eight shots, needing fives to sixes at this range. And we have four hits. They are light infantry and in light cover. So that's one dead. Uh, is it your leader? It is not. So we have the first casualty. Wait, they're light infantry? No, they're skirmishers. Oh. You said light infantry. So. <laughs> we got a light infantry firing at skirmishers. Two, right, two is, is sergeant. yeah, the sergeant. Okay. Okay. So three flags. Four. 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 I believe is somebody interesting. It is these guys. Yep, those guys over there. All right. They are going to move one d six with their okay. move. Two, two inches. inches. More than enough. Gotta come back, change facing. Let me just go wherever. And then they're gonna fire and reload. Okay, so the change of facing is a movement. Well, no, because they're moving this way. Okay. So they're just firing and reload. Um, yeah, so they're in range. So right. sure it's long range. In cover. in cover. So you're looking at fives, split amongst two groups. Yep. Like so that's two. Two, so one on each. Yep. So one on the leader's group. Oh, jeez. Yep. And one on the other group. It's nothing. It's the leader hit. Okay. Right. Ted, can you mark a single casualty on one of those, the, on the, leaders group. the leader group? Uh, 
And, and before anything else happens, I'm going to spend two flags. Shoot you again. Okay. Okay, so now they are unloaded. Yes. Okay, next up. Okay. Front flag. Uh, hold on. I got, I got two flags. Good sharp practice the formation. <laughs> so we're going to check range real quick. Okay. All right, so we're in range over here. We're not in range over here. Nope. I think we're gonna sharp practice into these guys. Okay. Uh, so they are long range, first fire, uh, not skirmishers in cover. They're skirmishers in long range, that's... But they have to be long range and in cover. Do they? Yep. Okay. Uh, well, whatever. So, Four, fives. So it's 12 shots. They're not technically firing under the direction of the leader. No, no, no. So, 12 shots. Needing fives and sixes. Has, have they gone yet this turn? I don't no. believe so. No? Okay. Uh, so, one. So that's three. Three. Yep. Three skirmishers in hardcover. They take a point of shock. Right. And these guys are unloaded. Yep. Dial here. Oh, good. This is one of the freely turning ones. It's doing that one handed is always a pain. Six. Six is the, gr the Grenadier NCO. Yeah. Okay. And the Tiffin. I mean, these guys haven't acted yet. Nope. So, so they can yeah. activate on the reload. Fire. <laughs> okay. So twelve shots again. This time needing sixes. Yep. Nothing. Nothing. But they're still skirmishers, so there's the Napoleons we know. With one d six, if you will. Woo. All right, so we'll move them, we'll shuffle the cards. So here we go. Uh, British flag, British flag. Uh, keep going, it's early. British flag, all right, that's three in a row. Last movement, or last thing was voltage air movement. Yep. So six, five. so five, that's never good. All movement with a minus one pip per dice until they can quench their thirst with a single liquid. Okay, well, um, so they're just a little slower now. Yeah, so <laughs> they're having their movement minus oh, one. More. They did that already. Was it until the end of the turn or until the end of the phase? I think it was just there the is next a difference. Oh, the next turn. Okay, so until we have an end of turn, they're not really moving anywhere. <laughs> Fair enough. You're good? Yep. Keep going. Leader two. All right, so that is that group. I think it's that group. Um, so we're going to rally off a point of shock. And then we're going to fire. So it's going to be eight shots. Are you in range? Yes. This is Should back. Be. Yeah, I went back an inch. Yeah. Be fine. I'll double check for you, but... Okay, so eight shots. Uh, so it is long range, but they are light infantry and it is their first fire. So they're hitting on fours. And it is four hits. Two, they two. reload. Two on the third. Uh, uh, shock. Yep. 
then our leaders group. All right. So that dead in a shock. Dead in a shock. Uh, is the leader hit? No. No. Okay. All right. So. Dead. <laughs> plus a dead in a shock. So we'll get them out. Okay, here we go. So nope. leader two. Yep, not on the board yet. Leader four. It's the single. Is that single group over there? Uh, they are going to do another one inch or move of three inches. I was like, if you roll a one on that, that that was all you. <laughs> Just gonna turn this face down a bit. Fan out. Yep. Force you out of the wood if you want to come get me. Okay. All right, and then fire. reload and fire. Uh, yeah, reload and fire. Okay, so six shots. Yes, because I lost a guy there. Yep. Six shots, long range, skirmishers, and yeah, we'll still call them in cover. Mm. Nope. Wow. Well, that's not too great. No, that's not good at all. All right, keep coming. Leader three is that other group of skirmishers over there. So they moved out uh, eight inches, kind of at the oblique, clearing the, uh, the forest, and they're going to be firing uh, on that group there. So uh, they are long range, but uh, light infantry, so needing fives. And we have three hits. They are... In relative cover. Uh, so there's one dead. Uh, one dead. Is it the leader? No. It is not. All right, we have one dead from them. And, well, if you could get some smoke onto those no infantry out there. <laughs> and next card. Five. Oh, five. I think that's the Grenadiers. Yes, that is the Grenadier Leader. Hooray. All right, so here we have the French Grenadiers deployed in line. And we have four British flags, so I'm going to spend all of them, and I'm going to activate the cavalry as a bonus action. The Light Dragoons have surged forward 13 inches. Still at the canter because of the rough ground. Uh, we have a British flag. Uh, <laughs> yep. So... I don't think we've covered this before. Um, to kind of demonstrate the more elite status of the um, the rear guard group and to kind of make up for the points difference a little bit, the um, the British have six flags, whereas the French have four. That's three in a row. That's three in a row. That's three in a row. Yeah, and yep. So we have random movement events. That is a seven. If the troops are in any column formation, they may take 2d6 of movement immediately. Nope. Unfortunately, they're not in column. That, <laughs> that would have been great. <laughs> not for me. And the Tiffin. All right. Okay. So the French have the higher force morale. So... I think all my stuff's gone, though. Yeah, everything you have on the table has gone, so... Um, uh, no, that's it. So I'm going to use that... No, that's the stuff that hasn't gone. Oh, yeah. Yep. I'm going to use that red flag. Five, four, two. Hold on. Let me pass three go. Oh, no. Three, nope, three hasn't gone. gone. So, go yep, through. the French can go with this formation here. All right. Uh, reload. Fire. Okay. So that's 11 shots now because you had a casualty. Um... The shock hasn't built up enough to start reducing any fire. So we're looking for just sixes. I'm going to get two. All right. So same group. And they don't care. All right. So with that flag, uh, since that unit activated as a bonus action, um, we're going to activate them at the canter, and they are going to charge forward. Okay, um, so that's nine inches, which is plenty to get in. All right, so the um, the Voltageris, I think, rolled three dice. They inflicted one casualty and one shock, but... Uh, they're gone. Yep, they are. They're very much gone. Um, so 
the leader is automatically hit. Well, they only have five guys left. He's hit twice. Okay, so he's hit twice. Um, my leader was hit once. Or maybe. Maybe. No. So my leader was not hit. Yours was hit twice. Roll 2d6 and we'll see what happens to him. Yeah. One to four. Uh, yeah, probably dead. We'll figure out force morale. <laughs> okay, so the French went down to eight. Uh, we have leader six, the... which is the NCO. Yeah, so nothing there. Nothing there. Finally. Yeah, okay, here comes the attack column. So we'll All get right. them onto the board. Okay, so here we have the column. Finally making it onto the table. All right, so we have a British flag. We have a French flag. And we have leader five, which is the uh, the grenadier leader. Uh, that's gonna move up, 2d6. Is up. I'm gonna try to plug that gap. Pretty much. <laughs> I plug the wall there a little bit though. Okay. What was the leader for that group? Four. I didn't pull him up, so if he comes up, we gotta remember that. Yeah. Yep. Different. All right. Yeah. Uh, so the British now have the higher force morale, and I'll figure out what to do with that flag. All right. So with the British flag, the cavalry moved up, um, ending their um, their movement at the gallop since they cleared. And then the only thing that the French can do is with this formation of bolt chairs here. They're just reloading and firing. And head into them and nope. nothing. Okay. You know what? It's because they have a different officer this time. The sharp is not on the field. That could be it. Otherwise, you'd just be throwing all sixes. Yep. The, the cavalry. Okay. <laughs> okay, so the cavalry has charged in, uh, taking both the um, skirmishers and the grenadiers in. Um, so the Light Dragoons have 18 dice. The French have 24. Um, so we'll see how the Dragoons do. Not all that great, actually. Let's put them all to the side for now. Yep, so that's uh, a total of five killed. Um, three that are causing shock. So that was... Every single one is potentially a leader, except for the one that hits the one voltage air group. Yep. Okay. And then we got the 24 coming back from the French. Uh, that is definitely better. So one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, eight. nine. Nine. Okay. Okay. Uh, so we will work out who gets hit, what gets hit. Uh, the cavalry is definitely getting driven back, and uh, we'll come back with the final results. Okay, so at the end of things, the uh, cavalry retreated quite a ways back. Uh, they're too over, their shock is too over the number of men they have left. The other group, with the wounded leader, routed off the table. Uh, so that brought the British force morale from a 10 down to a 7. Uh, and that was just the first card of this phase. So here we go. All right. Near three. This is my voltage air. Yep, this voltage air formation right here. So they're gonna pull a shock. Yep. Off of uh, group without the leader, I guess. It doesn't. I don't think it particularly matters at this point. No. Um. They're going to reload. And not really loving where they are. This isn't working out so great. Yeah, now they're suddenly in the way. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna 1d6 them a bit further away from the enemy so I don't lose any points. Oh, I do, because they can't move. 
Yep, you have their movement and minus one per pip. So if you want to get anywhere as a formation... No, nope, they're gonna... just going to keep shooting. Screw it. <laughs> okay. Uh, so they've lost more guys. They got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine guys, plus the leader. And then minus one for shock. Yep. So ten, ten shots. shots. Three, six, nine, ten. Yep. Uh, Using sixes. Those guys are not in range yet, right? They didn't move up? I don't believe so. Okay. I got one. Yay! Okay, on to the heavy cover skirmishers. Four, nothing. <laughs> Two. That's the Sorry. sergeant on the column. Red flag. Tiffin. All right. Okay, then. Um, you can't flag the cavalry. No, I can't flag the cavalry, unfortunately, but I can fire... <laughs> And reload. The one guy you really want to be like, get out of here. <laughs> yeah. Um, actually, I have a few options. Uh, I'll take a moment to consider them. All right, so I am just going to fire and reload with that group there into the Voltager uh, formations. So I'm needing fives. And I get four hits. So it's two on each. All right. Non leader? Non leader. Uh, nope, because they're light cover. Leader. Point of shock. All right. So the leader's group is up to three. Three. And we'll shuffle the cards. Uh, so Ted pulled a blue flag and a red flag. And then leader five, which Grand is deers. the Grand Deer. All right. Uh, so he's a level two, correct? He is, yes. Take shock off. Yeah, they're definitely going to have to reorder a bit. And I just want to check range before I decide what I'm doing. Yep, we are going to wheel 1d6 and blast in the ass. Okay. <laughs> yep, I, I think we're good. All right. So we'll just move up a little bit. I was really hoping that wasn't going to happen, but here we are. I'm assuming they have first fire. Uh, yeah, we'll check and total up all the dice. Okay, so the Grinder Gears are firing with 15 shots, I think we figured. Uh, yep. Two. Well, not great, but I'll take it. Uh, there's intervening cover, so we'll see how it goes. Nothing! Wow. Oh. <laughs> all right, they are unloaded. Yep. They're unloaded, they're uncontrolled. And um, I'm going to hold on that. I don't really have anything that can yes. touch me at the moment. <laughs> All right, so we can finally get the column moving. Right. Okay, so they advanced up 12 inches and snapped into an attack column. And a blue flag. I'm assuming the Grenadiers don't have show practice. No, they have pot of charge and aggressive. Now we're going to hold turn. Got two in a row. Uh, six is... Grenadier Sergeant. Pulls a shock. Yep, so there are Grenadiers are now shock-free and controlled. Okay. Three each. Three each. Keep going. Yep. Four. Two in a row again. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to use that, um, on my main guy, uh, and he's just going to issue quite a few different orders. Okay, so with one of his commands, that group there, um, reloaded, moved up, and is now firing again, so firing into these voltages these there. These guys would have cover this time. Yep, firing. yeah, they're going to have, uh, well, heavy yeah. cover, so needing fives and sixes. That is two. All right, so leave this group. Nope. Nothing. Kill. And yep, dead on the other. Uh, and then with his two commands, 
Let me double check. Yep, that is the right group over there. So with the other two commands, he is going to have this group fire, but also have the sharpshooter okay. fire. So uh, sharpshooter is going to fire at, well, call it the voltage airs leader's group. So that is not a hit. Missed. Missed. And then the rest of them are firing into this. Um, Voltage airs. Explaining okay. fives and sixes, so that's three, three hits. All right, they're in cover, so I'm going to put two in the non leader group. Okay. Uh, point of shock? Uh, two, because we don't have the cover from yep. that direction. And nothing in the. Uh... Yep. All right. Let's try to get here. Two, three. All right. Okay. Uh, yeah, so that was just four British cards. Four British flags, anyways. Ah, would you say four flags? Mm -hmm. I would also like to do something with four flags. Okay. I'm going to use my main leader. And he's going to order these guys to move forward. Two dice. Ten. Okay, ten. Uh, I think we might be moving through some broken ground, so we'll check uh, the movement rules. Uh, so the French despite their orders, have chosen to engage the skirmishers in formed line. I thought they were being annoying. Okay. <laughs> Outside your arc, I checked. Yep. So we've got some orders that can be given there. Okay, so that formation there has wheeled and represented, and then now both skirmisher groups are going to fire, so they would fire, or reload and fire, still being empty. Um, Firing into the line. So needing fives. Nothing. Group in the woods, which is just outside of 12. Needing fives. They're more accurate when they fire against skirmishers. So you got one? I got one. Uh, you're in the open, so put yep. it on your big man's group. <laughs> All right. Go kill. No. Not the big man. Good I was guy. like, <laughs> sharpshooter. Can I get the... Yep. Good guy? So we got a casualty there. Yep. Um, and that's everything for the, for the red one. <laughs> yeah, now everything has gone. Not for me. Nope. Not yet. That's what it was with the leader. Okay. Okay, pull the next one. Is that three in a row? No, because my one just went. Right, right, okay. You can pull a shock. No, you can't. Nobody has shock. You can't do it. Then. Everything's completely shock free on those. Okay. Um, I am going to sharp practice Quick something. <laughs> All right, so that line that was presented is opening fire into the French line, um, needing force. That was some okay accuracy. So that's three, six, seven, eight. So two on everybody. Two on each. Right, so starting from over there, that is a point of shock. Next group. Sergeant's group. Pretty two shot. points of shock. Leader's group. Kill in a shock. Can't kill the leader though. Nope. And last group. Kill and shock. That was a effective volley. And we'll yeah. get that marked up. So that was an effective volley. And Need some cards. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna pull shock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. From the home. Really matter at the actually this guy's two. Yep. Sergeant's group is at two. Now it's one. Tiffin. Right. And there's no flags to go, so that's it. We'll shuffle up. So here we go, first draw. Okay. So it's activating that unit there. All they did was reload and present. Um, activating them, they are going to reload and fire into uh, the line, uh, needing fives and sixes. 
So that is two. In the open, so I'm assuming you want the sergeant and leader. Yep. We're head hunting. Sergeant. Point of shock. Leader. Point of shock. Point of shock on each. The two middle groups. Yep. And then that group is doing the same thing, firing and reloading. Doing fives and sixes. And that is three. Sergeant, leader, and which one? Uh, we'll do the end closest yeah. to them. So end? Yep. Nothing. Sergeant. Gets a kill. Leader. Shock. Point of shock. Is the NCO hit? No. It's not. Okay. So we'll mark all the deaths. Give me a card. Okay. Here we go. So <laughs> I gave you, I only did one card. <laughs> all right. That's two Can't cards. do it. Yep. He rallies the men. All right. Red flag. Can't tip. <laughs> um... <laughs> I, I can't do anything because they've all gone, so... <laughs> you can move them back. Oh, yeah, I forgot about them. <laughs> yeah, the cavalry is just going to get out of dodge. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, all right, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do the skirmish fire first because why not? Um, all right, we'll start with the ones that are reloading and firing into them. Needing fives and sixes. There's three. Um, all right, what groups do you want? Uh, we'll do the NCO, big man, one closest to them. NCO, nothing. nothing. Big man, shock. Shock. Closest, nothing. Okay, so. Uh, we'll do the other group of skirmishers that are firing and reloading. Only two, so. Yeah. Big man, NCO. NCO, shock. Point shock. Big man, Dead. kill. Is it him? Three. And now, uh, I'll count up all the dice. All right, here we go. All those shots needing fives because they used their first fire. Not as good as the first, but. There's a six up on the side there. Yep. Now we get six. Yep. So two on the big man, two on the sergeant. Correct. All right, left side. Nothing. Right side. Shock. Point of shock. And two. Sergeant. Two shock. Big man. Kill him a shock. All right. We'll get all that marked. All right. So the, yeah. NCO comes out. Pulls a point of shock. Right flag. Red flag. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna sharp practice, and we're going to present. <laughs> okay. You. You. That's three flags up over there. All right. Firing so action for you. Firing action. Last one to fire was your main line. Yeah, that's a five. Uh, fire. The nearest building within 12 inches of the fire is caught light. There's no buildings. <laughs> Seriously, Ted. <laughs> <laughs> you cut him. <laughs> Do you remember that? <laughs> How does it feel to be me playing sharp yeah. practice? All right, we'll shuffle and then hey, shuffle. see what happens. Here we go. You want to put money on if it's a red one? No. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, and Will shuffled this time, so... I can see. I just... The cards... <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, all right. Okay, so uh, in the face of overwhelming rapid British fire, the, um, the rear guard action is successful, and the French decide that they no longer want to pursue. Uh, we went through the rest of the cards, too, and um, it, was, it was just going to be another really, really, really rough turn. Yeah. So, uh, the French have called it a day and turned around and retreated back to the main, uh, main army, and the British uh, will advance uh, unhindered. So, thank you everyone for watching. We're Little Roadie Wargaming. I hope you enjoyed the game. Uh, if you did, hit that like button. 
uh, leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Um, if you feel like supporting the channel, you like what you see here, um, consider subscribing. If you are already a subscriber, thank you. Uh, and if you haven't hit that bell icon, definitely recommend doing so. So uh, you get notified every time we post something new and we'll catch you next time.